Hey guys, my name is Brooks Like. Welcome to my channel. You guys have been asking for it. I'm gonna give it to you right here. My super juice recipe. Step one of making our homemade juice is we need to clean our vegetables. So this cucumber, you might have had your hands on it, your grubby hands at the grocery store. Somebody put their hands on my cucumber before I got it, so I wanna make sure I take all my vegetables. We have 13 different things here we're gonna put in this juice. First thing we gotta do, we need to wash them, cut them up, prep them for the juicer. And make sure you cut your vegetables, not your fingers. I choose to buy all organic vegetables as much as I can or to buy from a farmer. Farmer's markets here in town are great. And then one other thing, when you buy spinach, spinach couldn't quite often have dirt clusters in it. Make sure you wash your spinach thoroughly, otherwise you can end up with some dirt in your juice. You don't want that. Vegetables are prepped and ready to roll. And then here is the juicer that I use. I get so many questions from you guys saying, what kind of juicer do I use? This is the Ciato ES500. It's a commercial grade juicer. I've linked to it in the notes below. You can check it out. But this thing spits out one, really refined, clean juice with no chunks in it, and two, the other benefit of it, it's super easy to clean and you can put it through the dishwasher. So a lot of juicers out there are chunky and uh, really tough to clean. This one, very efficient, very clean juice. I highly recommend it. My favorite thing about juicing is the convenience of getting a massive amount of vitamins and minerals all in one. So today in my super juice recipe, we have 13 different ingredients. Now I'm gonna show you what I put in my juice and why. Here we go. We turning this beast on. Cucumbers, great for strengthening your kidneys and boosting the immune system. Tomatoes, improves your digestion, helps in weight loss and they lower toxicity levels in the body. Beets, absolutely one of my favorite things to put in my juice. Not only do they lower your blood pressure, but they also boost athletic performance, something you guys know that I love. Research has shown that the consumption of nitrate rich whole beets can raise your oxygen uptake levels by up to 16%. So just by eating healthy clean beets, you, you can raise your cardiovascular threshold by 16%, which is an athlete that competes massive benefit. Broccoli stems also help in digestion and prevent chronic diseases. Celery is great, stimulates the immune system and improves your circulation, great addition. Next up is apples. As my mom says, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. They also aid in the prevention of heart, stomach, and liver disorders. Love putting kale in my juice. Lots of vitamin K in kale. Boosts skin health and also aids in weight loss. A single cup of kale only has 36 calories but provides a notable amount of protein, so it's a great addition to any juice. Ginger has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. A small amount of ginger has a huge amount of taste, so don't put too much ginger in there. The taste of your juice will be overbearing. Pears have a huge concentration of nutrients and antioxidants improving your nutrient uptake. Lemons are helpful for people suffering from heart problems because they contain potassium. Also can control high blood pressure and they've been shown to provide a calming effect to both the mind and the body. Lemons are fine to juice with the peel on. I always juice my lemons with the peel. Carrots, great addition to the juice. Loaded with beta carotene and vitamin A. They obviously aid in your eyesight, you know that, but they also help prevent certain cancers. And the other thing I like about carrots is that in a vegetable juice, carrots are a little bit sweet. So instead of adding high sugar fruits into your juice, you can add some carrots and they sweeten it up a little bit. And last but certainly not least, spinach. Spinach, of all the ingredients that I put in my juice, is the freaking boss of them all. Spinach is very low calories but one of the most nutrient dense foods there is. So I put more spinach in my juice than anything else. Spinach, you are the boss, you were Popeye's favorite. And who doesn't wanna be Popeye? So after it's all mixed up, I'll add in a little apple cider vinegar. It has the ability to regulate blood sugar levels, boost weight loss, and improve your gut health. So now that we made our juice, let's talk about the storage of our juice, which is just as important. You see this process, a little labor intensive, takes about 15, 20 minutes. I'm probably not gonna do that every single day just for a 12 or 18 ounce juice. So this will make about three days, four days worth of juice. And the way we store that is with a double vacuum insulated container. If we put this juice into a container that doesn't let any light through and we fill it up to the top so no oxygen can get in it, it will preserve the minerals and nutrients in the juice for three to four days. That way I can fill up three or four of these, put them in the fridge, and over the next three or four days, my wife and I can have fresh juice. In the description below, I put every ingredient that I put into my superfood juice, and I also attached a link to the juicer that I use so you can check that out. Make sure you come back next week as I share my pre-workout slash breakfast shake with you. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Cheers for now, team. Much love to y'all.